Is there a problem not connecting speakers to amplifiers? Okay, this question comes from Kyle in Seattle, Washington, Seattle, where they throw the fish. <laughs> My kid lived there for a long time. What is it, the Pikes Peak Market? Um, hey, Paul, now I'm in the process of joining the audio world. Welcome. He's starting with the low end, uh, and he says, if I use an amp without a load, no connected speaker, will there be any consequence other than no, no sound? Uh, assuming that the volume knob is always at maximum. And in the case of speakers uh, connected, but no sound is played from the source, and it's on idle, what will happen? I've read a lot of mixed opinions about this. Most of the people say it would harm or even break the amp based on the operational properties of Class D. Ah! See all these little cardboard things? That's That keeps, keeps them from scratching. Um, what will happen? Uh, let's see. Some say most of the present products have special designs to protect it, even with low uh, budget ones and connected. Secondly, if I don't connect speakers to its speaker out, only the pre-out uh, to another speaker, will it be harmful or not? My guess is it all depends on the product design. Okay. Well, first off, Kyle. I'm glad you're getting into audio. That, good for you. And you're, you're starting your journey out. You want to start learning. And that's, that's great. I, I admire that. And I'm really happy for you to, that you're doing that. Good job. The simple answer is no. No, I don't know of an amplifier that is going to be bothered by not having a load connected to it. Maybe, maybe Oh, God, long ago, something would oscillate, but I, I don't think so, and certainly not a Class D. I mean, we, we've got Class D amps all over the place, um, and I guarantee you, I mean, we run them all the time without loads. So, uh, so yeah, quickly, no, there's no problem, and same with the preamp. Uh, and, and the level that you're running something at, is if, you, if you put a high amplitude signal into a power amplifier and there is no speaker connected to it, it just, it, it's just a voltage source. It's just a voltage amplifier. Won't bother a thing. Um, now, be careful doing that because you don't want to just all of a sudden hook up your speakers to a powerful amplifier who's at maximum gain because you could blow those speakers out. I mean, big time. You crush the tweeter. You can, I mean, all kinds of stuff. You, so I don't know why you'd want to do this. Um, I'm sure you have your reasons, but no, there's no problem in doing that. Generally, amplifiers are fine sitting all by themselves, connected up to speakers but no input, any number of combinations. They, any amplifier I can think of should be unconditionally stable, regardless of in or output uh, connections. Okay, So as a rule of thumb, don't worry about it. Same with preamps. It doesn't really matter. Having said all that, as you're building your system, you're going to want to start coming up with some, some rules of operation that you want to stick to as you build your system. I, I like keeping stuff on. I like keeping things connected because a, 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 there's a certain synergy to keeping everything connected and turned on that unless you have tube equipment, I would, I would follow. Um, you know, every, if, if, every time you're disconnecting and connecting things, I, I just think there's, there's it's, it's just a recipe for trouble. So I would build a system, set it up, listen to some of the old videos that we have and the new ones that are coming about how to set up your stereo system for best sound quality how the speakers are placed, what kind of wires you have connected, all that really matters, even on cheap electronics. It, it, it really does. So um, do your best to, to pay attention to those. You're on a great journey here to learn, and I, I do admire and appreciate that, but um, I would keep it all connected, just me. But there's no problem in not doing that. All right, good luck with your, your project, and uh, keep us in the loop. Let us know how it's going. Uh, I, I would, someday I've thought about, you know, what would be really great 
is if people sent us YouTube videos of their systems that we could put onto this channel. It'd be kind of kind of cool. Okay, um, that's it for Kyle, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye. Thank you.